Welcome to the Water Sensitive Cities Knowledge Platform. Launched in March 2021, it contains all the tools, research, products, and outputs created by the CRC for Water Sensitive Cities. You, our users, told us what you wanted to find and what you needed quickly and easily. So we designed a website that does just that. You can find the platform at watersensitivecities.org.au. We're going to run through a few of the key features and show you how to find what you're looking for. Let's take you through the homepage. First, we have the interactive water bill. It represents the seven goals of a water sensitive city. These goals are the same ones presented in the water sensitive cities index. It's how we define a water sensitive city. We'll show you how to use the water wheel using urban livability as an example. When you select a topic, the wheel spins, a menu appears on the right hand side. This menu lists the different research themes that relate to that topic. You can investigate and dive even deeper by selecting a theme. Let's look at green infrastructure. Each link takes you to a theme page like this one. Each theme page has a short introduction. If you scroll down, you can see four tabs. The first one, research findings and reports. It is already selected. It presents some interesting research findings and reports about that theme. If you scroll down, you also see a list of resources we have produced about that topic. This is where you'll find resources like journal articles and technical reports. Clicking on that hyperlink will take you straight to those resources. Some journal articles are copyrighted and require a journal or university library subscription to access them. CRC reports are free to download. Next, click on the research application. Here you'll find information about projects, where we have applied research. You can see the names and details about the most relevant projects. Other projects are also listed below again. Clicking on the hyperlink will take you to more information about the projects. The next tab is tools and guidelines. Here you'll find different tools or guidelines that can help you to apply the research on the ground. In this case, the tools and guidelines relate to green infrastructure. Click on the hyperlink to go to a particular resource. The final tab is infographics. Here we collated various visual images relating to green infrastructure that you can include in documents and presentations along with the source reference. Now, let's head back to the homepage and explore further. Over to the right-hand side, we have a video that explains what's involved in realizing the Water Sensitive Cities vision. Click on this link to watch the video. To the right of the wheel, we have a quick links to resources, tools, and case studies. Clicking on one of those links takes you to a new page. Let's select case studies. You can see we have listed them by topic and by location. These case studies identify the key drivers and innovations of each project and capture the lessons learned from the early adoption of research knowledge in real life projects. Clicking on a topic, in this case, alternative water supplies, takes you to the landing page that lists all the case studies that relate to that topic. Clicking on a case study, in this case, orange, takes you to a page about that project. You can download the full case study or you can scroll the page to read about the high level drivers innovations, lessons, or outcomes. Let's hit the home button and go back to the home page and take a look at our tools page. At the top of the page, we have a video that provides an overview of all of our tools. As you scroll down, you can see our 12 key tools and products that were developed by the CRC. For this example, we will select the values tool. Each tool page has a video overview and a link to either download or purchase the tool. There is also a description of each tool that links to guidance about how to use it. If you have any questions about our tools, contact us at admin at crcwsc.org.au. Underneath the tools are links to our most popular guidelines. Click on a topic to find guidelines that relate to the topic. Let's head back to the home page and select the final quick link, resources. The resource page is a giant searchable list of everything published by the CRCWSC over our nine years. You can use the intuitive filter function on the left hand side to narrow your search. You can search for news and events or by resource type or a relevant topic. You can even filter your search by state, participant, author, or date. This is just a different way to search for guidelines, reports, and tools that we have already shown you. Back on the home page, we have a neat function to help you if you don't know where to start. We ask you some simple questions about the kind of information you're looking for the answers to your questions help us identify the products and resources that you might find useful. To start this adventure, 
select Start Here just below the fold of the home page. Another useful feature of the home page is our location based benchmarking pages. You can find them by scrolling to the bottom of the home page. Let's choose a state and city and investigate further. For this example, we select Western Australia and then Perth. The Perth location pages provide us all the information on benchmarking Perth. You can see the latest results about Perth's performance along with the vision and transition strategy for Perth and the implementation plans developed by the city's water sensitive transition network. You also find research reports and findings, research application and tools and guidelines that are relevant to Perth. Let's head back to the homepage to explore one last feature. In the top left hand corner, we have our standard menu. This is another way to find what you need. It's particularly useful if you're looking for something on the historical CRC for water sensitive cities website. It's all still here. You can find the historical homepage CRC WSC Legacy. This is a good place to look at the original research projects, which are labeled by year 2012 to 2016, 2016 to 2021, and as integrated research projects. We hope this tour of the platform has been helpful. We would love your feedback, and please let us know if you need any help with the website. Contact us at admin at crcwse.org.au.